Hey y'all, how are y'all doing? Um, we're gonna do, uh, I think we'll do a DM and a DF read. Don't know exactly how this is gonna go, but we're just gonna go with the flow. And then my hair looks a little bit crazy, right? <laughs> um, lately, I've really been, like, learning, okay, through, uh, people in my daily life along with God. And I've always known this, but lately, to be honest with you, He's been really working on me, myself, with this lately, and I hope it helps and it blesses you. Oh, and by the way, my name is, my name is whatever you want my name to be if you're new to the channel. I appreciate your time. Um, I do do readings. I am newer to the readings. Um, I, my spirit guide is the Holy Spirit, but I do not judge you if it's different for you, okay? Um, uh, but yeah, so you're welcome, you know, and I appreciate your love and your support. And, yeah, I hope to be of assistance and to help you some way because, like, right now, this is more likely going to turn into a DMDF reading. Uh, Twin Flame Journey is not easy. It's very tiring, and that is why it's important that we need to have rest, all right? Allow your brain to rest. When our bodies rest, our brain rests, okay? Rest has always been challenging for me personally because I'm, uh, I am a mother of four, which means I have... You know, things need my attention. Like, home needs my attention. Um, and I'm a, I'm a single mother at that. So, you know, like, mom, dad role. And and then, of course, you know, we're supposed to take time to ourselves, too. You don't necessarily have to be a parent to be really busy in your life. You know what I mean? And to be a go-getter and to get do things. And maybe you're an entrepreneur. You know what I'm saying? But it is true. Rest is very important. Because, and uh, the older we get, the more we start to learn this, okay? And, and yeah, so rest is very important. I encourage you to pray for your divine counterpart for their rest, too, um, because they need it. And especially when, when you waken up to a twin flame journey or the spiritual realm, our body needs to rest because it does take a lot from us. Um, learning from the soul tribe, uh, ooh, that sounds bright. Um. Learning from the Soul Tribe, like, downloads all this will take a lot from our body. It'll take, like, even good spiritual things, you know? It takes from our body. Not in a bad way, and it also adds to. But we need to do our part in doing our best to rest. Even if you struggle. Like, last night, y'all, I'll be honest, I couldn't sleep. Like, I went to sleep, I woke up, and I was like, woo, woo, woo. And then, I ended up checking on somebody. Honestly, I don't. I don't know, I'm just going, you know, I care, I care about a lot of people, but sometimes there's people that, you know, like, maybe we shouldn't check on, who knows, but maybe if we were in a better state of rest, and we were getting rest, maybe we would, like, if my, you know what I mean, like, maybe we would know if we should really, like, the spirit of discernment, like, should we really be checking on these people, you know what I mean, so, but if you got a big heart, you got a big heart, you feel me, but anyways, okay, so let's get into this, I hope that gave you a little bit, um, hope you didn't click off through that, if you did, I can't help you, um, I just pray that you find a reader that does help you, but anyways, alright, let's get into this thing, alright, uh, Holy Spirit, you are welcomed here, we clear out all negative energies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, what would you like for these twin flames to know in this hour, Holy Spirit? Caring, all right. So, um, one of your divine counterparts is really caring. There's a situation that's bothering them because they're sitting there saying, "I'm leaving." So something is troubling them, or maybe not even troubling them. This could also be. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can get a little bit deeper. Holy Spirit, please help. Can we get a little bit deeper in this caring and I'm leaving? What is the divine counterpart trying to say in this hour to the divine counterpart? All right, they want you to know that God's mate will never leave you. So maybe this is your divine counterpart screaming out to you, like, look, like, I care. I have a caring heart. But the other one that's leaving, that's not for you, okay? Because God's person, God's mate, friend, partner, they'll never leave. You can't push them away. Once they find you, that's it. You're clink, clink.
Yeah, they want you to relax. Please relax. They could also be screaming out some... It, you know, these messages, if they resonate, they resonate. Everything might not resonate. And then, you know, God speaks how he rolls through who he wants. So, you know, it might not relate with you, but it can relate with the next person. You know what I'm saying? And I'm leaving can go multiple ways. It can be like a spirit saying, I'm leaving because it's done and cast it out. In the mighty name of Jesus, you ain't allowed to torment this vessel anymore. Under the sound of my voice and the sound of my fingers, you must leave this vessel. Go in peace. All right. So it could be a spirit. It could be your divine counterpart. Um letting you know like the person that leaves and don't return or you know like that's not from god because you don't got to fight like that for god's counterpart and they're gonna understand if you have abandonment issues maybe that's screaming out of abandonment issues because they're also saying relax and they're reminding you that god's people they won't leave you god's true people won't leave you but we do have to do our part they want you to relax. You're very caring. This takes a lot from you when you're a very caring person. Because people pull from that. A lot of times people don't even know what they're doing. Like some people want your undevoted attention. And they're not being selfish. They just honestly don't understand that um, maybe you need to relax. What else do you want to say to my counterpart? Yeah, step back. Step back. Whatever's been taking a lot of your time, maybe just maybe just step back and just relax, right? And you do have fake friends in your path. These fake friends are jealous of you. So if you step back, you'll end up seeing this. They, they won't always let you know they're jealous. DM and DF just validates the message. They won't always let you know. Why wouldn't evil give up itself? You know what I mean? So relax. This could be God speaking to both divine uh, to both divine counterparts. The divine masculine and the divine feminine. Y'all need to relax. Holy Spirit, you are welcomed here. Holy Spirit, you are welcomed here. Make a choice. Make a choice about what? About the friends, maybe? Maybe you're, you're stuck in between lovers. Divine counterpart, is there something else you want your partner to know? Or God? Can you validate who's speaking through this message, please? Yeah, somebody's spending way too much time in the 5D. Reflect on this. All the information you've gotten from the spiritual realm, twin flame or whatnot, reflect on it. Take some time out. Ground yourself. You are divinely protected. No worries. You're a diamond in the rough. Don't you ever forget that. Your divine counterpart is helping you. You also know who they are. You know. But there are people, this uh, fake friends, they are deceiving you because they are jealous. So don't be going around telling everybody about your divine counterpart if you didn't know that. You know, don't do that. I know what it's like to be excited, but you must protect them. You must protect your connection. It ain't nobody's business right now. And I say that humbly and compassionately. Time. Time for what? Patience is a virtue. Patience is very important in the Twin Flame connection. It's very important. Because Twin Flame connections, like, 
Um, you must understand that this just isn't for you. You know what I mean? This, oh, the video might cut off. This isn't just for you. It's for other people too. The story of your love. That's heavenly guided. You don't get gifts. You don't get spiritual gifts to hordes. You get them to help. Okay? You get them to help other people. And things like this, it takes, um, you got a lot of love from above, and the love from above is just pouring out. Things, things like this does take patience. Because you're going to have to be patient with them, because definitely if you have, uh, remember how earlier I said some, somebody might have abandonment issues? Definitely if you have abandonment issues, patience is going to be one of your, um, one of your, um, uh, things that's going to be worked on for this connection, alright? It came out. Somebody's uh, Divine Masculine, they're coming in. Why did I say Divine Masculine? They're coming through, so it's Divine Masculine. That's what I felt right to say. Yeah, because you're going to have to be patient because you're going to experience times where y'all can't be together at every moment, and you got to be okay with that. you got to know that you can trust them. Yeah, because sometimes you're going to need to get away. There's nothing wrong with that. You're going to have blessed times together, but there's going to be times where y'all are going to have to, you know, do your own thing. So believe, because you are a seer, all right? You are a seer. You know what's going on. But let me tell you something. You know what's going on can make you very impatient. It can uh, make you cuckoo. Just being honest. So that's why we must learn to relax and be patient. Because spirits will uh, mess with us. They will. Waiting, spirits will wait for you to uh, be off track. The time has come. So the waiting could also be your divine counterpart. And amusement, y'all are funny. If you have a really funny divine counterpart, that could, that could be validation. Or they could also be letting you know that fake friends uh, that are jealous from you, they are, uh, they're, they're being amused in spirits. But you are, like, you got, you have choices to make. You have strong choices to make, but uh, you have, um, you're divinely protected. You have love from above. You are heavenly guided, so you have nothing to fear. And then your divine counterpart is helping you. They are helping you even in the 5D. They can, they might be more awake, awoke than you. You know what I mean? Yeah, some of y'all have been working on manifesting this thing. And swift increase is coming. The past. Fit, swift increase can be coming from your manifest, uh, your manifesting from the past, and a uh, swift increase can be coming in now from the work you've done. But you gotta believe, or the past can be coming back in to haunt you. You are aware of your surroundings, or beware of your surroundings, okay? Because these messages aren't just for one person; they're for multiple people, you know. And it's okay to be unsure. Just don't lose faith. Alright? Don't lose faith. I saw the card again. I keep on seeing the card for tomorrow. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Tomorrow, tomorrow, you're only a day away. I don't know the best singers. Okay. Ha! See? Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. It's just validation. Yeah, somebody's really hurting. Alright, anything else? Fixing that. Anything else to find counterpart you would like your uh, find counterpart to know? Yeah, you're a church planner. You're a church planner. That means that you'll you'll help plant for the, the Lord God. If you've been feeling like the urge that to open a church or that you've ever been a church uh, planner, yeah. Believe. You are their sunshine. 
create, go ahead and start. If you've been following the prompting that you will be um, doing something with the church, go ahead and start making your plans for it. Go ahead and start creating. Even if you don't know where to start, go ahead and start creating. Walk your walk, Becky, and talk your talk. Walk. Walk. What does walk mean, baby? That could be me. Can mean multiple things. Yeah, the answer is yes. So that's validation for somebody. Somebody has felt that they're going to be building a church. Yeah, the answer is yes. Have faith. It's a very honorable thing to be a church planner. A lot of work, too. They're a lot of fun as well. Definitely when you know you work for the Lord and you get to live in there, you know what I mean? Enjoy. Ooh. If you need help, let's go now. Yeah, you've been going through a lot of uh, long suffering. A definition of long suffering is having patience in, in spite of troubles, especially caused by others. You've been enjoying a lot of long suffering as a part of the fruit of the Spirit. That's why you're going to be blessed exceedingly. One of the reasons, not the only reason. That God's acknowledging that. If you think that God, that you feel like you've been left alone, like people are against you, all this stuff, and that nobody hears you, God hears you. Itching nose. If I remember right, don't itching nose mean like somebody's coming? Let's see. Because if it does, wow. Yeah, somebody's coming, okay, because on my phone, on my Google thing, let me just tell you how I know that one of your guys' divine counterparts is coming through. Because I'm wearing white socks. On oh, my Google thing, it said white socks, right? And then I'm looking down, itching nose, let's see. Yeah, somebody's coming. It could be, um, it could also be your spirit guides. So I had itching nose. Walk in faith. Falls out right under, underneath, right? And, uh, and then on, it, it showed, uh, white socks, and it just hit me. It was like, I'm wearing white socks. And for those cards to be laid out, that's just validation to me that one of your guys' counterparts is coming in. This could also be spirit guides or you could be having a visitor it don't just have to be a divine counterpart uh but you have a visitor coming through all right anything else fix have to cut this video off but yeah I, so, somebody's having a visitor come through could be a cellmate this is good though of course, you want it to be your divine counterpart. You don't want it to be their divine counterpart. You know what I mean? But a soulmate is good. Like a friend. Just don't, you know what I mean? Like a really good friend, family member, all these things. These are good things. So somebody has a visitor coming through. And possibly the person that's been hurting and been feeling like people are against them and been experiencing a lot of long suffering. Oh, you have somebody coming through for you. You were shot with the bang bang. All right? So your lover really loves you. And they believe in you. They're lost without you. Receiver, it was reversed, so why aren't you receiving this? And your divine counterpart wants to know why. Why aren't you receiving this? Keep on doing you. Understand things will fall into place. No matter what, um, you might have to be assertive with this, you know, to put your foot down. Because something is trying to take what's yours. So, that could even be on the spiritual uh, realm, but the angels are helping you fight this, alright? They're helping you fight this. They want you to know, your divine camera part wants you to know, they write you notes and letters. Just breathe, breathe, baby. You know how I just said, like, why aren't, why, they're wondering why you're not receiving it, because it came out reversed. And then we got this one that came up right. Receive good, because this is good. You're a meat eater. You're very strong. And I I thought that because we got multiple cards, right? And 
the cards that keep falling out are like very strong spiritually. So you're a meat eater. You're you you you've been walking with Christ for a while, or you are really in tune with Christ, or possibly both. Because you don't have to walk for Christ for a long time to be a meat eater. It all depends on your your growth within. You know, like I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, it's manifested. You're very strong, and your counterpart wants you to know, like, he, they know how strong you are in the war, and they love that about you. So, redirect your attention, alright? Don't believe every spirit. You know who your counterpart is. And they also, they're also a singer, or you should be a singer. And you're very hard to find, alright? Don't be like me, y'all. I ended up messaging somebody I shouldn't have messaged. But, whatever. I know God's gonna take care of it. I ain't worried about it. You know what I mean? God's gonna take care of it. But, get some rest. Alright, so. Yeah, we're fixing to go. I'll leave you with this. Ah, <laughs> they both fell out. Your empire, baby. He's taking that Zell's trip. These fall out together. Cause he knows what he's got. He's got, he's got a, he's got a woman of the Lord. He loves that. He finds it so attractive. There it is. Y'all are possibly going to be playing in churches. Remember how we were just talking about this? There's your validation. And we we're just talking about before I told you before I even saw that card that he admires and he loves the fact that you are so in tune to the Lord. He's never witnessed that before. That's why, that's why you, that's why God's partner is not going to leave you. Like, he will not let you go. Because he's never, went, he's never encountered a being like you before. He's so attracted to it. So attracted. Yeah, y'all guys' connection is magnetic. And they are so very thankful. He's so very thankful for you, beautiful angel. You are twin flames. You are. I'm just randomly pulling them. I don't know what I'm pulling. You're very creative. Be creative. Um, you're very creative. Y'all are going to be very creative in this. You could be frustrated right now from your connection. But understand that patience is a virtue. Alright? And you know this. Because you know the Lord. Maybe you're going through grief right now. It could be grief of losing. They understand. That's why they're helping you fight this battle. And you're not crazy. One more. Like that. So let it go. Let it go. They love you. They love you. You are that stunner. Believe in me so I remain in you. Yeah, you are very strong spiritually. They've always loved you. It shows in their art. Remember how I told you that your uh, your divine counterpart is a singer? One of your guys' divine counterparts is a singer? Go look to their music. Also, look to their art if they paint or anything, okay? Stop questioning. I keep on having to validate this for you because you keep questioning. Maybe you need to see a therapist. Or maybe your divine counterpart is acting as your ther therapist. So, release your fear. They came out together. Be patient. Keep saying be patient. You are very... You must be patient. I I can feel your energies. I keep pulling cards because you don't want to leave. I understand it. I've been there. But you have to. be. Use your art. Your art's going to help you. Keeps on pulling out. It's coming in. Just be patient. Think positive, okay? When? Stop asking when. That's negative. <laughs> <coughs> They're loving you. So where are you? That's where you are. You're in love. And I'm going to stop this reading right at now, all right? And they want you to know, leave if you must. What does this one say? If you must step away from this connection, they want you to know, it's the begin they opened it up with, 
God's partner will never leave you, okay? They care about your mental health. They care about you. That's why therapists fall out a second ago with what everything will be all right, right? But they said, leave if you must go, and then this card came out right underneath it. Because everything will be all right. Because no matter what, God's partner is not going to leave you. So if you got to step back for a while, it's okay. Somebody's knocking on my door. Tell us all somebody's going to get a visit. Yeah, it was just validation. I just had a, um, somebody come through. And that was my mail, though. But um, if you must step away. Step away and understand that this message is to ultimately let you know that your partner understands. They love you. They care about you. They care about your mental health. They care about your well-being. And they're not going to leave you. Alright? If you have abandonment issues, that must be gone. Alright? But everything's going to be okay. They're coming through. And I just had a knock on my door. They're coming through for you. But these things that you're worried about, they must go away. You can't live like this. Y'all are not going to be able to build a church like that. You are not going to be able to be in union together like that. All right? These things got to go before you can really experience this, okay? And don't be upset because it can happen overnight. Be optimistic. Be enthusiastic. But do not let it um, um, ruin your day. Or, and, don't lose hope. Okay? Don't lose hope. Okay? Like, things happen on God's timing. God's timing can be right now. You could get that knock on your door right now. But when I say that, how do you feel? Because your enthusiasm can also make you sick. Because it can turn to bad enthusiasm. There is good and there is bad enthusiasm. Okay? But I believe you have the good enthusiasm in there. Just evaluate your feelings, relax, know everything's going to be okay. Also know you need to learn how to relax and be patient because when this thing happens, and it's happening, and when it happens, you don't need to pass out. You do not need to pass out. All right? You need to be okay. You don't need to pass out because these emotions you'll be feeling of joy and like, I can't believe like. I was right the whole time. That can be a whole other mental issue. I'm being serious, Becky. Okay? So calm down. Relax. Trust in the Lord. And know that no matter what, your partner of the Lord is not going to leave you. Okay? Gotta go.